about Beograd? Remember those guys that you buy and then they start playing music? Remember guys? Yeah. yeah? And this is also a famous singer. Serbia enjoys many types of music and dancing, both traditional and contemporary. Traditional just means the old music, contemporary, and the newer music. Okay, now we're going to be showing you a song, and then after we're going to be showing you how to dance. Yay! Yay! I love dancing, but I didn't sign up this year. Heading to the east, across the meadows of the Hongya Mountains, there the beekeepers collect the liquid gold. Hongya honey. The untouched countryside of Hongya, the place where the ecosystem is preserved. It provides an unnaturally gratifying bounty for the bees. Latin. Serbia. Really? And what was the other one? Latin. Which do you think this one reminds you of? Latin. Serbia. Serbia. Well, they use both in Serbia, don't they? Right, left, right, right, left, right. <laughs> to your left. Left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left. Studenica was once the religious, cultural, and political center of medieval Serbia, making it an exceptionally important monument. The monastery houses an incredible collection of Byzantine-style frescoes and paintings from as far back as the 13th century. school with uh, various different uh, cultures represented out of uh, 500, 495 students. We have 125 students that come from other cultures from around, from around the world. And uh, that we see that as a strength of our school. And we'd like to celebrate that. We haven't done a day like this before. This is our first. Uh, one of our uh, Largest, with one of the largest cultures that's represented in our school is the Serbian culture, and we're fortunate on Friday nights to have the Serbian school with us. So, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bright. Family, friends, students, and staff, dobrodošli, and welcome to our first ever multicultural day here at Forest View. Welcome to Serbian Day. I hope all of you enjoyed your day of learning about the Serbian nation, culture, and its people. All right, so who else is not Serbian? And what did you learn? Um, I learned a couple of things, and one of them is that Serbian food is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> very true, very true. That deserves a round of applause, absolutely. You know what I learned when I was doing the project? With my son, we started researching. I found out that Serbia is the second producer of raspberries in the whole wide world. I didn't know that second only to Russia. And I found out that it was the second producer in the whole wide world of plums. Second only to China. But wow, this little tiny country can do all that. So it really impressed me. And I hope that those of you that didn't know as much about Serbia learned something today. And those of you that thought you knew it all, I hope you learned something as well, a little bit more. famous Serbian minds that is not quite as famous as maybe he should be. But him, Nikola Tesla was born on July 10, 1856 in Smiljan in what later became Yugoslavia. His father, Milutan Tesla, was a Serbian Orthodox priest, and his mother, Druka Mandic, was an inventor in her own right, creating household appliances. <laughs> 